Hello everybody, Clayton here at eTrailer.com and here at eTrailer we install, test, and review a lot of different products to help you as the customer make a more educated decision before your purchase. Today we're going to be working on our 2017 Volkswagen Golf Alltrack and we're going to be taking a look at and I'll be showing you how to install Kurt's Class 1 Trailer Hitch Receiver. Adding a hitch to your Golf is going to be a huge upgrade. We're going to be able to get our bikes off of our roof or out of our trunk and onto a bike rack making more room for us and our passengers. We're also going to be able to get a cargo carrier back here to carry some of that extra cargo if you are on a road trip. And you can even tow a small trailer such as taking your jet skis to the lake for the weekend. And this is what our hitch is going to look like installed. I really like how it turned out. You're only going to be able to see the receiver tube. You're not going to see that cross tube that runs behind our bumper beam. It's going to look nice and factory while also keeping that sporty appearance. Our hitch is going to be a steel construction so it's going to hold up really good for a long time. It also has this nice black powder coat finish to help resist rust and corrosion. I really like this steel reinforced collar. It just makes it look finished while also adding a little bit of stability. Now we are going to get an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening. So you are going to be kind of limited on your accessories, but we still have plenty of options here at eTrailer. Now we are going to get a st standard half inch pinhole. You want to keep in mind a pin and clip are not included with this kit, but you can find one here at eTrailer. We're going to have the rolled style safety chain openings. They are going to play nice with a lot of different style of safety chains. As you can see, our clevis hook fits on there just fine, so you're not going to have to worry about changing out your chains on your trailer. We can go ahead and get a few measurements for you just to help you understand where your trailer hitch receiver is going to sit on your golf. From the ground to the uppermost part of our receiver tube, we're looking at about 15 and a half inches. You just want to keep this number in mind for ground clearance and if your ball needs to be in a rised or lowered position. Then from the center of our pinhole to the outermost part of our fascia, we're looking at about three and a half inches. And this number is important for any folding accessories because you want to make sure they're not going to hit the back of your golf. As far as our weight capacities are concerned, we are going to have a 2,000 pound towing capacity. You do want to keep in mind that's the weight of the trailer and the load included. And as far as our tongue weight rating, we are going to have 200 pounds of tongue weight rating. That's going to be the amount pushing straight down on our receiver tube. And with it being a class one, you are going to be kind of limited on the amount of bikes you can take. And it's very important to check with your Golf's owner's manual to make sure that your vehicle is capable of towing at those capacities. And if it's not, make sure to go with the lowest number between the two. And in terms of installation, getting our current hitch installed on the back of our Golf really isn't too bad. We didn't have to do any cutting, drilling, or welding. The hardest part is just taking off our rear fascia. Now, in my professional opinion, this is going to be a great hitch for you. But I would check out the Eco Hitch. It does have a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, and that's just gonna play well with a lot more of accessories. With that being said, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed now. To start our installation, we're gonna to need to open our rear hatch. We're gonna be working on our driver's side rear panel. To take our panel off, we're just gonna turn our tabs, and we'll simply just pull out on our panel. And we'll just set that off to the side. We now need to grab a small pick or a flat blade screwdriver and remove our taillight wiring. We're going to have this little tab here on the top. We're going to pull back on that and there's going to be a little tab on that plug. We're simply just going to push down and then pull our wiring off. We are now going to have a plastic wing nut that actually secures our taillight. We're just going to turn that until that comes off. And if you are having trouble, you can use a flat blade screwdriver to help turn that. We just set our screw off to the side. Now removing our tail lamp assembly is going to be pretty easy. We're just going to grab a trim panel tool. We'll slide that in here. Just kind of pry out on it until that comes loose. You just remove it and set it off to the side. We can now repeat that same process over on the passenger side. So now would be a great time to install some four pole wiring. If you ever want to tow a trailer, since we're already going to have our fascia off and our tail lamps out, it's going to make that a lot easier. You can find that video here at eTrailer to help assist you. We now want to move to our rear wheel wells. We're going to have four T25 Torx bits we're going to be removing along the outside here. There's going to be one located up here and then a Phillips head right here. We'll go ahead and get that taken out now. With our hardware removed out of our wheel well, we can now move under the back of our Golf. We are going to have a series of hardware to remove on the bottom of our fascia. We're going to have a couple Phillips heads, a couple T20s, a couple T25s, and one T15. We'll go ahead and get that removed.
Before we remove our fascia, I'm gonna add some tape just around our body lines, that way we don't scratch any of our paint. Now you don't have to do this, but it is a good practice just to help protect your vehicle. Just follow that body line all the way up to our wheel well. Now we just wanna grab a friend to help us remove our bumper. We're gonna start by pulling our corners out on our fascia, then carefully working our way towards the middle. Then if your bumper has any wiring, you'd wanna unplug that now. We'll set this off to the side. We're now gonna be removing our factory bumper beam. There's gonna be four 13 millimeter bolts that we need to remove on each side. We'll now repeat that for our remaining hardware. Now we just wanna lift our bumper beam off, and we can grab our hitch. This is gonna be our hardware orientation. We're gonna take our split lock washer, slide that over our bolt, then our flat washer, and our conical tooth washer. You wanna make sure that the teeth on the conical tooth washer are facing our hitch. Now with an extra set of hands, we can lift our hitch up into place, aligning our new hardware. With our hardware threaded in by hand, we now wanna come back with a 13 millimeter socket and just snug it down. And we don't wanna over tighten this, but just get it nice and snug. We're now ready to come back and torque down all of our hardware to the amount specified in our instructions. We are now ready to reinstall our rear fascia in the reverse order we took it apart. Then whenever you're putting your fascia on, it kind of helps to have a third set of hands just to help feed our hitch through this opening in our fascia. Now if you don't have an opening here, you'll be trimming this out according to our instructions. With everything reinstalled, we're now ready to hit the road. That's going to do it for our look at and our installation of the Kurt Class 1 Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2017 Volkswagen Golf All-Track.